But we now know that there's one guy in the race. And as they say in Massachusetts politics, usually Democratic politics, the shape of the field determines the victor. It depends who's running. I mean, that's so obvious, but it depends who's running. Now we know he's running. That means that Mitt Romney's probably not running. It means Rubio's probably right. not running. It probably means that if Christie have any taint on him from any kind of indictments of people around him, he probably can't run. Which means it's going to be Jeb Bush, in all likelihood now, against somebody on the right. Now, somebody that we may not be despicable on the right. Certainly, <laughs> Rand Paul's not despicable. I think Ted Cruz is, fits that category. Uh, this could be interesting. Yeah, if, uh, if Chris Matthews says so, then it, I guess it's true. Welcome back to the Mulsberg panel, Republican strategist, political consultant, Nick, Noel Nickpour, and National Review contributor and conservative lawyer, A.J. Delgado. A.J., so um, this Jeb Bush, you know, I, I don't know what kind of announcement it was. It seems like the entire media has made it into, uh, okay, now he says he's running, which he did not say, but let's say he does get into it. What, what does it mean for, the, uh, for himself and for the field? Well, it's a tough one. For the field, he's certainly kind of pushing out the other quote-unquote establishment candidates like Mitt Romney and Chris Christie. So they're certainly the ones that, that won't benefit. I don't think he harms Marco Rubio in any way. Marco Rubio has certainly carved out his own persona, his own profile, independent from the Florida Republican mold of Jeb Bush. But as far as the overall um, grassroots reaction to this, it, I, I don't think it's as as impacting as the media would have us think. Most of the grassroots, as good a governor as Jeb Bush was, and as well as a conservative as he is in, in many regards, the dynastic element is just a no-no. It's a conversation stopper for most of us. Um, that's my personal take on what I've gathered from my observations of, of, of the grassroots. Is I think it's a, it's a no from the get-go. And Noel, what, what are your observations? I look at it from a fundraising uh, stance, and I want to see going further, you know, what's going to happen with uh, his exploratory committee, where that's going to go. Um, I kind of took a little survey after he did that his announcement on Twitter, which was kind of neat because Twitter, social media, that's kind of how Obama uh, really, you know, advanced was through social media, and, and it looks like Jeb Bush is kind of doing the same same thing. A lot of my donors, I said, now that Jeb Bush has announced uh, he's doing an exploratory committee, are you looking at supporting him maybe with your checkbook? Or are you still out? Or what are you doing? Do you know only one out of my 18 bundlers said, yay, Jeb Bush? The rest of them are torn between a couple of other candidates. So, And I, I, I surveyed people that were millennial bundlers, women bundlers, and, and men, and I didn't find anyone but one that was just very over the top, Jeb Bush. That is that is interesting, and I think it is telling. I think you're both on the right track. By the way, could I have the names and addresses and numbers of those bundlers, please, at the end of yes, the show? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Let, let, let's, <laughs> let, let's move on to um, Elizabeth Warren. You know, so much has been made about the fact that she won't say, I will not run. She just keeps saying, I'm not running, which, of course, you're not running until you announce you're running. Um, do, do you think um, uh, uh, that it's possible, A.J., that uh, Elizabeth Warren will wind up facing Hillary and it's going to be a you know, battle royale like they had uh, eight years ago with uh, Obama? I certainly do. And you know, she had a recent uh, visit and tour of the Middle East, which they say is, is pretty much an indication often of somebody thinking of running that, trying to get their foreign policy bona fides and credentials going. So um, I was actually at HLS when she was a professor there. She's a, a very warm, um, widely respected, very intelligent lady. Uh, but quite radical, it seems, from um, her views. In fact, recently someone said she might make Hillary look like Ronald Reagan when it comes to economic views. But I do think no, she she's way, give... way, way to the last. I hope she wasn't. Yes. I hope she wasn't teaching Native American studies. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Final word. Final word, Noel. I hope Elizabeth Warren runs. I hope that Hillary, O'Malley, and Warren all run, and I have a huge primary and beat each other to a pulp so that a lot of Republicans can sit back and watch them spend some money. You left out Joe Biden. I mean, we got to oh, get him. him in there, too. Yeah, oh, absolutely. we got to be entertained, right? All right. Uh, thank you both, uh, Noel and uh, AJ. Thanks uh, both very much. Thank Always you. a good panel. And we'll speak to you both soon. Merry Christmas to uh, both of you. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, you know it, you love it, you got to have it. You know, Obama says he has signed fewer executive orders, but watch this, give me five.